Well, this is Commonwealth TV, where we're interviewing some of the top health IT industry experts and the difference their organizations are making when it comes to interoperability. And that said, let's go ahead and welcome in Don Woodlock of InterSystems. He's the head of HealthShare Business Unit. And Don, we're seeing a lot of change and advancement in the world of interoperability. So what role does Commonwealth play in this and what role do you see them playing in the future? Sure. So a lot of our customers, the old fashioned way of doing interoperability for them was to install a platform like ours, HealthShare, and then to establish individual connections with all the different affiliated providers in their, in their community. And that took a lot of time, took a lot of expense, and essentially you're doing this work one at a time. But with something like Commonwealth, where the national network is already built and there's a lot of providers already brought to the table, then a customer can get value out of a product like ours right on day one because they have all these connections flowing in. So I think things like Commonwealth really are the future of interoperability, and they certainly avoid all kinds of unnecessary work because the tracks are already laid by Commonwealth. Yeah, and that really impacts the end user positively. Maybe if you can expound on that just a bit. So, you know, good. if you're a physician or a nurse or any caregiver, good care really involves seeing the whole patient. And patients sort of wander around their community, especially ones with chronic diseases. They may see seven different providers every single year. And so any provider really is only looking at a small part of the picture. But with something like Commonwealth and a fuller array of data, they can see that whole patient, the whole experience, through the course of the year and take much better care of the patient. And I also think it gives confidence to patients because they're not repeating themselves. They know they're dealing with a physician or a caregiver that has the whole picture, all their meds, all their allergies, all their problems. And it just makes the whole kind of health environment, you know, a lot more healthy, frankly. Well, speaking of maybe more, more healthy is some of the, the upcoming government regulations. How do you see those benefiting interoperability and, and, and users? Well, I, I think it's good for the industry to move in unison and in alignment. So doing interoperability your own way without regard to everybody else makes for a comp complex, unproductive environment. So I think the government and standard bodies play a great role in encouraging interoperability, forcing vendors to do their part, forcing health systems to open up their, their data for patients and payers to open up their data for patients. So we're very excited about the regulations that just, just came out uh, yesterday. And uh, we think it's really going to open up data sharing and keep all of us kind of on the same, the same playbook as we advance forward. Don, the Commonwealth Connector, what inspired inner systems to, to want to be a part of that? Well, I, I think, I think Commonwealth is an innovator. I mean, I've really been impressed with uh, Commonwealth and the EMR vendors that are part of Commonwealth really bringing interoperability to the table on day one. So we've always been excited about the growth of Commonwealth. The initial idea was great, but to just see the network grow and the transaction grow, it just becomes a real kind of marketplace for kind of consented health data. So, so we're, we're quite excited to tap into that. And also we've been very happy with some of the roadmap plans for Commonwealth around expanding use cases and expanding the network and expanding different functionality items. All that's going to be very good for our customers, I think. Well, speaking of your customers, you've seen this now, the, the wheels in motion a bit. What sort of feedback have you gotten from some of your clients when it comes to the Commonwealth Connector? Well, I, I think our customers really value the multi-EMR connections because a lot of EMR vendors do a pretty good job in their own ecosystem. So for instance, the Epic customers really are able to take advantage of other Epic customers' uh, data, but less so the Cerner customers or the Athena Health customers. So Commonwealth, to me, really has a great coverage of, let's say, Cerner, Athena, and a few other vendors. And bringing that to the Epic customers, let's say, of which we have many, is a real big win for, for them. And so just being able to blend a EMR centric network plus a EMR kind of neutral network like Commonwealth 
you know, brings, you know, the majority of connections that customers are going to need to the table. Now, expanding interoperability, InterSystems, one of the proud Commonwealth Alliance members. Don, thanks so much. And for more information on InterSystems, as well as many of our other members, we invite you to log on to CommonwealthAlliance.org. Thanks so much, Don. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.